I grew up in the Northeast at the same time as Billy Elliot. One day I just had this image of a little boy in a tutu in one of the mining villages that I knew well from having grown up there. And then the story all came to life. I sort of call it a fantasy autobiography. I'm terrible at dance and uh, no, my, my dad wasn't a miner. He, he was, he's quite similar to the dad in the musical. Nothing specifically true, but it all relates to when I was young and grown up. I've always been surprised that people from all sorts of different parts of the world and with completely different lives find something in it. And uh, I think that's what's great about storytelling. If you find the right story and you tell it in the right way, that you know it, that people can come from, from all sorts of uh, places and find something of value for them. Because ballet is something which you need immense physical resources for and strength, it embodies all of the things that the macho culture of Northern England value. And there seemed to be this great contradiction of people not understanding how hard and physical and tough you have to be to be a dancer. So I thought that that was a really interesting thing to write a story about, the contradictions in people's attitudes and the sort of ignorance of people about what it takes to actually be an artist and make something. The best writing and the best drama is is something that's very, very personal to the people who are involved in doing it. And, uh, and so you should never, ever be scared of that. You should always embrace that as much as you possibly can. So other people will be interested because everybody's unique. And that's the great thing about theatre, that you can be unique and you can entertain and educate and communicate with other people by being yourself. Oh!